take a sneak peek at the all Nova Scotia team as they're heading their way west to Vancouver for the Nationals. Who does not look like they want to be talked to? This person right here, definitely. Where Nova Scotia is from. Yarmouth. Love Yarmouth. Why don't you tell us quickly what this is about? I did my project on the effect of different light colors on the girls of green beans. And now your project is? On the tarpons. On the tarpons. Yes. I've studied the different technologies that are going to be used to clean up the tarpons. Mm -hmm. And through my experiment, I was able to narrow down exactly how much cement will be needed to actually solidify the tarpons. Your name is? Graham Mann. Graham Mann. That rhymes, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Sunglasses. Catch some rays. OK, Graham Mann, tell us all about it. It turned out that I hadn't tested the right wavelengths. I had only tested down to 350 nanometers. Right, because I was looking at that, and I, I noticed that when I looked yeah. at it. Now, your uh, project is on uh, uh, vapors. Yes, it is. Do you have, have do you have a touch of the vapors right now, guys? Definitely not. Excellent. <laughs> Actually, it's a lawnmower, because we have pictures of a lawnmower on our project. One would assume that we are using a lawnmower. We uh, use this lawnmower in, a, in an experiment with alternative fuels and alternative methods of combustion. How do your parents feel about this? They're quite worried. <clears throat> you guys are, are you guys in it for the money? No. For the fame? Maybe. Where are you guys from, Vancouver? Uh, Antigonish. Antigonish? We're going to Vancouver. Oh. <laughs> uh, it's, a, it's about a suspension system for cars that works along the longitudinal axis. So it'll increase the duration of collisions and minimize force applied to the occupants. In a collision, if you hit something, you want the cabin to keep on moving. So that's what it's showing here. If you apply it over a short period of time, say three seconds, mm -hmm. your force could be four. But if you can stretch that out to six seconds, you can reduce the force to two. Why don't we go right over here <laughs> oh, no. and talk about absorbent Sorbent. sorbents. Yes, of course they're wrong. All right, okay. So have you been working really hard? Yeah. Have you picked a good topic? Yeah. It's built with uh, the brass congelating things and the fact that it's attached to a television. Uh, so it's not attached to it. Oh. It's a solar powered motor that converts solar energy directly to mechanical energy. Really? How did you make that? And somewhere I feel like there's a sink in your house that has been robbed of all its parts. Is that true? No. Does your mom know about this? She's okay with it? Yeah. Okay. Well, the whole weekend's about really getting to know your teammates that are going with you to Vancouver and showing off your project to everyone else. Yeah. They're really nice. Really? Yeah. Even even those two guys <laughs> that do the lawnmower thing? <laughs> the guys yeah. at the lawnmower, even those guys? It's worth the work that's put into it. Excellent. And you're having a good time? I'm having a great time. Probably the hotel. The hotel. So the hotel is by far the coolest part of the whole science fair. Unbelievable. Well, I think it's the whole experience. We didn't have a school fair this year, so I actually just did it on my own and entered the regional fair, so anyone can do it. One word of advice. Just go for it and don't back out because it's a once in a lifetime experience and it's lots of fun. What's the coolest science project that's been here so far? Mine. 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 Yes. And ladies and gentlemen, popping out a 2 4. Does this get you the ladies? This right here. <laughs>